Stacey Grodin, first of all, congratulations. Incredible, incredible event with this TBDA gala. You're the president. When you see what's happening, the support, I feel like you guys are turning a corner. Talk to me about seeing this forward movement occurring with, with preventing Lyme disease. Well, it's funny you should say turning the corner because in 2002, we were called- You stole my thunder, uh, I was going there sorry. next. We were Turn the Corner Foundation and recently, um, we merged a couple of years ago and became the Tick-Borne Disease Alliance and so many amazing changes have taken place and our quest for a diagnostic tool has been our real mission since we've merged and really trying to get the word out, awareness, education, publicity about how devastating this mystery illness is. You mentioned publicity. You have someone here tonight, Debbie Gibson, performing pop yes. icon. Someone who's recently come out and talked very visibly about what she's had to deal with with Lyme disease. When you have someone that high profile who comes out and, and gives support and is here performing for the gala, talk to me about what that means for the organization and for awareness. It's really amazing for the organization because the problem with this illness is people don't believe it's real and people think that it masquerades so many other illnesses. So when you have a credible celebrity, somebody who says, hey, wait a second, I have this illness, it's a real illness, and this is what I'm suffering with. It just really lends clout to, to the disease to show that it really does exist and it's a serious problem. This is something that you've had to deal with. you Personally. Personally, because you, when I had asked you if you've had Lyme, you said, I have Lyme. Right. Talk right. to me about the distinction, because people don't understand that. It's not about having had it, it's about having it. Correct. Walk me through that. Correct. So I got diagnosed in 1994, but I went many years undiagnosed with this mystery illness to a million doctors, the same story I'm sure you've heard many a time, and they all came up with a different um, name to my illness. And finally, when I got diagnosed in 1994, it was, they said, have you ever heard of Lyme disease? I said, no, what's Lyme disease? And I sort of began my personal journey of 20 years of mixing Eastern medicine, Western medicine. I've had three children along the way to get to where I am now, but it's a constant battle in the sense that it's sort of chronic at this stage, so my immune system, anytime I get a little cold or whatever that you might get and you might be fine, I'm sort of My colds down. are never little, <laughs> but they're definitely not yours. <laughs> but I'm sort of down and out from it. So it's, you know, it's really a lifelong uh, maintenance situation where you really have to take care of yourself. If I were to ask you five, ten years down the road, where do you want awareness to be? Where do you want your organization to be? Where do you want people to be with understanding Lyme disease? What would the answer be to those? Well, I would say in five, ten years from now, I would really hope that the disease is understood and legitimized in the sense that the government, political, physicians believe that the disease is credible and exists and is a real disease, because that's sort of half the battle with this illness that many people, all the ones I listed, don't believe in it. So if we could get um, an accurate diagnostic tool, I feel like that would be a real ladder to getting all these other groups to say, hey, wait a second, this illness is real and we need to treat it and we need to address it now. You guys had a magnificent 2013, John Donnelly, one of my personal yes. heroes, Bike yes. Back for a Cure, and then you're speaking in front of Congress. What does government need to realize or do to help out with this? Well, we really need funding. We really need funding towards a diagnostic tool, which is our main goal, 2014. And they have to realize that it's a real disease. And although there's 300,000 reported cases, there's so many more. There's so many more of people who just haven't, you know, been checked off as a legitimate case, so to speak. So the numbers are climbing. Personally for you, what has it meant to be president of this organization? And, and growing it and growing awareness. You know, I've really seen all the twists and turns since 2002, since we started, and to me, it's amazing because compared to then, there is so much more knowledge and there is so much more um, movement about the illness. And there's so many more new tick-borne illnesses being identified. So it's really been an amazing journey to watch all this happen and it's just my passion sort of keeps me going. <laughs> well, first of all, congratulations on an incredible gala, and Thank the work you. you guys are doing is incredibly inspirational. Thank you. I really appreciate it, and uh, I appreciate you guys being here tonight. It's our pleasure. <laughs> Thanks.